Hello there, this is Commodore Urban here. Thank you for joining back with YouTube. And finally, for starters, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for not posting anything in a while. It's been kind of hectic, but hey, I'm getting around to posting stuff again. So, if you're wondering why I'm wearing my Lionel Engineers hat, I will tell you why. Because I want to show you something really, really awesome. And this right here. And yes, this is an original vintage post-war Lionel train set with the original box. This is really cool. I want to show you the box a little bit. It says an investment in happiness. And you can see really carefully there's Lenny the Lion. He was the mascot for Lionel for much of the post-war period and it still is today. And big bold letters says Lionel Trains. And what I really like is the side art on this box. See? Says Lionel Trains. And on this side, this is the side it says it on. It says right here, Lionel Trains, manufactured and guaranteed by the Lionel Corporation, New York, New York. And it's $22.45. I'll zoom in on it. And the outfit number is 1547S. And this set from my research was cataloged in 1956. And it was a one year thing for the 027 line. So here's the other side of the box here real quick. Same thing but minus the outfit number and the price that was written on the box. You can kind of tell the box is old, see? Because it's a little bit ratty, tatty in some places. But just the fact that this box has survived, that's pretty fucking epic. So now since I showed you what's inside the box, or what I showed you, sorry, not the box, but showed you the box itself, I'm going to show you what's on the inside of it. Okay. If it'll stay open, this thing is just so... Uh, this box has a mind of its own. Okay, right there. This is the outfit itself. This is everything that's inside the box. And I'm going to take each piece out and I'm going to show you. So first part I'm going to show you is uh, this heavy thing here. This is the locomotive. And this is the original locomotive box. And when the locomotives, when they would package the locomotives, all the locomotives for the most part were packaged in non-marked boxes with just the engine number on them. And this is a number 2018 steamer. Now we're going to open it up. It's kind of hard to do it one-handed. There we go. Put that over there. Here it is, the 2018-264 Adriatic type locomotive by Lionel. Let me zoom in on a little bit so you can see some of the detail on this thing. See, it says 2018 on the cab, and it's actually, uh, if you can tell, it's actually a, a rubber stamped on there. There's the back of the cab. Okay. There we go. Here's the money shot right here. Made in U.S. of America. Lionel 027 Lionel Corporation. That's the money shot. Here's another money shot of the engine right here. But if you could tell right there, the um, one of the little uh, jewel markers has been bent. You can see right there. Uh, let me turn a little bit more light in here. Um, that's better. You can actually see that the jewel marker has been smushed out of it and it's been dented and the other one's still in there but that's what gives the engine its character. You can see there this engine has a smoke unit unlike my 2016 which does not have a smoke unit. If you wonder what that little metal thing is right right there that's that's the bellows which make the smoke puff out of the engine. And again, like I said, it's a 2018 steamer. And that's actually a lower end 027 piece. See? Now the next piece I want to grab here is the tender. And this is a 6026T. 
And the difference between this and the 6026W tender is in fact, unlike the 6026W, which has a whistle in it, this one does not, as you can see the light shining in there, there's no whistle mechanism. It's just got an operating coupler. But it just looks exactly like the 6026W because they're the same tender and they use the same frame except the 6026T is a whistleless tender. Alright, the next car, oh yeah by the way, when this train set, when this outfit, as, I, as they call them, when this outfit was brand new, besides the engine being in the box, all these cars would have been in Lionel boxes similar to this one here but it didn't have the boxes so that's the one thing that sucks but the train set's in great shape other than that this one here is a 6014 Pennsylvania Railroad box car with Baby Ruth markings it says enjoy Curtis Baby Ruth candy and it says it on both sides and this is a low end box car unlike the other box cars which have opening doors the doors on this are molded shut it has die cast um, uh, die cast trucks, metal wheels and couplers, and a metal frame and a plastic shell. You know, for something that was a, a low end piece in Lionel's 027 market, this caboose is actually pretty well made. Pretty, pretty impressive. Now, the next car right here is a 6112 Lionel gondola with four canisters. Now on the canisters, if I can zoom in for a little bit on here, it says Lionel Air Activated Containers on them. And on the top of a molded, if you can see it, uh, it says Lionel on top of them. But it's just basically a plastic car. It's got a plastic bottom because it's an it's entire one piece. And you've got the die cast trucks, which you can see kind of, see, die cast trucks mounted to the bottom of the frame with die cast wheels and die cast couplers which is really cool because like I said you don't find toys and stuff made like this anymore so let me scoot the box over um, let me move this thing out of the way uh, this here this is a solid metal car and this is the Lionel 6121 pipe car and in the catalog image I've seen of the set it shows it with a yellow pipe car which I've presumed it was never made because I did some research and never found a yellow pipe car. If there is a yellow pipe car, please let me know. I'd like to know. But the versions I've seen were either gray pipe cars or red. And the red's the more harder to find it too. As you can see, some of the pipes are kind of broke. Which I kind of can... I, I, can, I can kind of understand because this is from 1956. So it's... See, like I said, it's a solid metal frame with metal trucks, wheels, and couplers. So this is probably one of the best made of all the cars in this outfit because it's, like I said, solid metal. Right there's your money shot to Lionel because you know Lionel's the king of toy trains. And finally, the last car in this outfit is this 6257 Lionel Lines SP type caboose. SP stands for Southern Pacific. And you can see if I can zoom in on it for you. It says Lionel C41 or C-40-I -40 I, built 9-47 and the number is 6257 and it's underlined. Okay. And basically what it is, it's just a plastic body uh, screwed onto a metal frame. So you can see there's a screw there and there's a screw there. And it has one coupler with an operating, you know, one operating coupler on a truck, and it has another truck. So this caboose was just basically a cheap, low-end thing. They made cabooses like that that were more higher end that had all the smoke jacks, interior illumination, and dual coupler. So that's basically the entire train self itself. And there's actually a few other things left inside this box. Like here's the original transformer, and this is a type. 1015, which is a 45 watt, what they call a multi volt toy transformer, and this is the gauge thing that made you make it go, you know, faster. And you can see it says, "Made in the U.S. of America by the Lionel Corporation, N.Y." And even says on the bottom here too. See, Lionel Corporation, New York, New York. 
There's actually another really cool thing I noticed on this too. Is on the uh, this thing here. I don't know if you can see it really well or not. Maybe hold it. I hold it a certain line. There, see it? it says lion now. It says it on both sides, see? Lion now. But I'm gonna warn you though, I did some research on this transformer here. And these transformers do not have um what are called circuit breakers in them. So if you have a short circuit for a long time, this thing can this this thing will overheat and just be destroyed, along with destroying your train. And there's a few other really neat things in here too in this box. Let's take a look. Like right here, you have the original um, bottle or tube of uh, Lionel train lubricant. It's all dried up now, but this lubricant would have came brand new with the engine. And this little wooden dowel rod thing, this is called a smoke pill tamper. And what you did with it is when the smoke pill would burn and it would come up around the sides of the stack, you take the little tamper thing and you would just push the smoke material back inside the heating element and it would burn and right here this is something really cool this is an original 1956 Lionel accessory catalog this is not the main catalog I want to get the main catalog but this is the accessory catalog it says G-Pop you got them now how about the new Lionel accessories and it's got the the 2350 um, New Haven uh, electric locomotive which these things are cool. It's the EP5 Erector. I actually would like to get one. But I'll, I'll do a, vi a separate video on that later, showing you the inside of it. Um, here's a Lionel service station manual, which shows, um, says basically what this little book was. It basically shows you all the different places around the country that were service stations for Lionel trains, including a section here on Indiana which that's where I'm from. That's pretty cool in itself. Um, now here's something else here too. It is a uh, instruction manual on how to operate the Lionel number 2018 locomotive with smoke. And this basically also kind of tells you how, you know, how to operate the engine and there's the warranty. And on the back side, it gives you this important notice about lubricating your equipment. And look at this. A Lionel lubricating maintenance kit for $1.95. That's like $25, $30 now for one hour days. I wish it was that still. And finally, there's this instructions for operating Lionel train outfit. Because this train set would have came with a piece of straight track, an uncoupling track section, a controller, eight pieces of uh, 027 curve, and a lock on and wires and the transformer but of everything that was supposed to be with it I only got the transformer because most of the time this old uh, tubular tin plate track would rust and it just basically was no good and there's the how to operate it and basically how to work it and there's the warranty again and there's the Lionel Corporation that was before Lionel went bankrupt and finally you know I'll just give you another quick scan of the box because like I said I love this box. This is like, I love these old boxes. Because, see, there's some new trains there. There's my Pennsylvania Steam Freight and my uh, Menards exclusive Chicago Northwestern Freight. So, they're, they're cool trains, too, but I just, I love the box on this thing. So, so yeah, this is basically everything here. So, yeah. Sorry. So, I hope you enjoyed that little video that I made. And I hopefully may put a video on up soon of me running my 1547s freight set and until then this is uh engineer urban saying full steam ahead